What's up guys, John the Retro Bro, back with a new video. As a retro gamer in 2020, there are several ways to experience the retro classics we grew up with. I will tell you, playing the original hardware on a CRT to this day cannot be beat. No input lag, fresh scan lines, and just the simple feeling of the buzz from the tube TV is in my opinion the most pure and accurate way to re-experience the great games we played as kids. However, in 2020, sometimes this just isn't a practical solution. With modern living rooms and flat screen TVs, a bulky CRT just feels out of place really. This leads us to look for other options to experience these games. One option in particular is emulation via the Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your emulation on your RetroPie hooked up to your modern flat screen TV feel like you're re-experiencing the same game on an old CRT. So, your experience will essentially go from playing games that look like this to look like this. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so once you're in your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and go to your Retro. You're going to go down to Configuration Editor. Configure basic LibRetro emulator options. Now you can do these all at once in default, or you can scroll down to the one you want to fix. Today we're going to do Mega Drive. Scroll down to number three, Video Shader Enable. I'm going to change that to True. Press OK. Now you want to go down to the video shader file and pick CRT Pi Curvature. Hit OK. And you're going to cancel, cancel, cancel. And that'll take you back to the main menu. So once we've had that done, guys, we'll go back into um, Sega Genesis. We'll play some games. Let's fire up Sonic 2, see how that looks. Here is the stock display with no filter. This is what looks, what RetroPie is going to look like out of the box. And now we have with the shader and CRT filter. I really like this look. It sort of adds that nostalgia, CRT feeling to to the system. Almost enough to make you think, you know, you're, you're playing on original hardware. Not quite. But guys, like I said, for emulation and one of the options we have here, um, th this is definitely a good starting point. So if you're feeling a little nostalgic and all you have is emulation, particularly a retro pie, this is definitely a good option to check out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Do you even CRT on a Raspberry Pi, bro?